Rasmus Hoyland is the last of Man United's priority targets to complete Eric Ten Hag's overhaul of the starting eleven. Manchester United are confident of signing Rasmus Hoyland in time for their first game of the Premier League season against Wolves. United are prepared to pay £60 million for Atalanta striker Hoyland after settling on the Dane as their principal striker target following Tottenham's refusal to sell Harry Kane to them. Although United regard Eintracht Frankfurt figurehead Randall Kolo Muani and Ajax forward Mohamed Koudis as alternative targets, manager Eric Ten Hag has spoken to Hoyland via video calls and football director John Murtough has held extensive discussions with Atalanta. United believe Hoyland is a rough diamond but are impressed by his work ethic and have faith in Ten Hag's coaching ability to develop him into one of the most lethal strikers in Europe. Hoyland, 20, only moved to Atalanta last year and United have provisionally planned for Marcus Rashford to play at centre-forward in certain games to ease the Denmark international's adaptation to English football. United are working off a £120 million budget and have already invested £107 million in Andre Onana and Mason Mount but the budget is believed to reflect net spend, so Hoyland's fee could be offset by sales in the summer and winter transfer windows in accordance with the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules. Ten Hag was eager to recruit a striker last year but Cristiano Ronaldo's inability to secure a transfer to a European club blocked any move for a replacement. United host Wolves at Old Trafford on August 14 and have only scored four goals in their four games in preseason. United lost 2-0 to Real Madrid in Houston on Wednesday night, prompting Ten Hag to lament their profligacy for the umpteenth time. When asked if the performance highlighted United's need for a new goalscorer, he replied, absolutely, 